Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brandy and you're watching The Glam Bell and today we're gonna be talking all about hair porosity. Specifically, we're gonna be targeting low porosity hair. I personally have low porosity hair and so I wanna bring all of my low porosity folks out there some information to help you get the most out of your hair. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there if you enjoy videos like this. I upload every single week on my channel and if you want to hear all about how to treat low porosity hair, then please keep watching. First things first, if you do not know what your hair porosity is, I would encourage you to go look at my video on how to find your hair porosity. This is super important in figuring out what type of products and what type of process you wanna use on your hair to get the most out of it. I did the water strand test, and I know a lot of people say that that's not accurate, but honestly, I felt like it was accurate. I've done it several times and it worked for me. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. What having low porosity hair really means is that your hair strands have really, really tightly bound cuticles that lay kind of flat and basically water just kind of runs off of it. And it has a hard time retaining moisture or allowing any products or moisture to really penetrate the cuticle. With low porosity hair, it's much easier to get buildup on your hair because your hair strands or your hair follicle does not want to allow the products to penetrate. My first tip for having low porosity hair is to make sure that you are shampooing your hair. It's not as easy to just co-wash or just condition your hair and skip shampoo altogether. For low porosity hair, using a clarifying shampoo more often than not is actually gonna really benefit your hair because we get that buildup much, much quicker than people with medium or high porosity hair. A clarifying shampoo is designed specifically to get rid of any product buildup on your hair cuticle, on your scalp. This is important for any hair type, but especially for low porosity, so that you're getting rid of any buildup that's weighing your hair down and you'll get the most out of your hair. So my all-time favorite clarifying shampoo, you probably already know it, it is the Diva Curl Buildup Buster. This is made with micellar water and this stuff is so amazing. If you guys want a full video on how I use the Build Up Buster and exactly what it does, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know, and I will gladly do a whole video dedicated to the Build Up Buster, but I love this product. I keep it in my shower and I use it at least once every two weeks. Um, and if I feel like I need it more, then I'll use it more. But once every two weeks is usually good enough for me to really cleanse all of the products off of my hair and really help to bring life back to my hair. What happens when I don't use a clarifying shampoo for a while is my hair just doesn't have the volume that it normally has. It just doesn't feel as light and bouncy and voluminous. And it's because that buildup just kind of weighs everything down and it pulls my curls down. So. Using a clarifying shampoo if you have low porosity is really, really beneficial. The second tip that I have is kind of steering clear of anything that's super heavy. Heavy hair products like heavy creams, heavy butters, um, heavy oils, those things are not gonna be great for our hair because, again, it's easy for us to have buildup. And when you have a thicker product and your hair follicle is not allowing it to penetrate, it just ends up turning into buildup. I would definitely stick to a lighter formula for you know your hair stylers, um, your leave-in conditioners, even your oils. Some of my favorite oils are the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Oil. It's a super light oil, and I like to use that at the end of my styling routine. I also love to just use straight jojoba oil. It provides some moisture to the hair, but it's super light and it again helps to add some shine to the hair. And then the other one that I absolutely love is the Hair RX Oil by Righteous Roots. And I use this for my scalp massages. This one is a little bit of a heavier oil than say the jojoba oil, but I only use like literally the smallest amount at the end of my hair routine and scrunch it in to add some shine to the hair and it really helps to just moisturize the hair and again I do my scalp massages with this as well. My third tip is to be a little leery of leave-in conditioners. Really pay attention to the ingredients in your leave-in conditioners 
because low porosity hair can be protein sensitive and when you have too much protein on low porosity hair your hair can become very like stiff and it's just not doesn't feel healthy it doesn't feel good you really want to look for lighter formulas in your leave-in conditioners or just skip leave-in conditioners altogether. A lot of people don't use leave-in conditioners and that is totally fine, but this is a step that I feel like has just become a habit in my routine. I do like to use a leave-in conditioner, so I try to use lighter leave-in conditioners. This one works really great for my hair, and again, my hair is low porosity. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture detangler. I use a small amount of this on wet hair when I just get out the shower and I'm getting ready to style. It has really great slip and I feel like it helps me to detangle my hair without causing any breakage or pulling out any extra hair. So I love this one as well as the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. This is a really amazing detangling spray. I feel like this makes my hair look shinier and just feel overall healthier. And this also is a UV and heat protectant as well. So I love using this, again, right before I use any styling products on my hair. These two work really great for me. The fourth tip is whenever you are doing a conditioning treatment, a deep conditioning treatment, do not skip using heat to help open up that follicle. Because our hair is prone to just staying really tightly wound and it doesn't allow products to penetrate, it's so important to help it along by adding some heat. And this is my Hothead by Thermal Hair Care. I love this thing. I use it every time I deep condition now. I'll put my deep conditioner on, and then I'll pop this in the microwave for 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, and then put this over top of my head and let it just do its work. And it really helps to get that conditioner to penetrate the hair follicles. I'm getting the most out of my deep conditioning treatment. It really helps that deep conditioner to get in there and do what it's supposed to do so you get the most out of it. And then the last tip I have is to just make sure that you're paying attention to the ingredients on the hair products that you are purchasing. Obviously with curly hair, we wanna try to stay away from sulfates and silicones and parabens and all that jazz. But also for low porosity, you kind of want to be careful with protein. Everyone is a little bit different and I'm not saying that because you have low porosity hair you should never use any type of protein on your hair. We definitely need that protein in our hair because our hair is made up of protein as well. So I'm just saying don't overdo it with protein. Pay attention to the ingredients that are in your hair products. That's honestly just a part of being on a healthy hair journey, you gotta look at ingredients. It's just like your health and fitness journey. You have to look at the ingredients in what you're putting on your hair or in your body if you wanna make a change and see a positive change with your hair. And that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope that it was helpful. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know what type of porosity hair you have. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.